my channel and happy holidays. I am so excited for this time of the year. I hope that you guys are too. This is the first time I've ever done any kind of like holiday gift guide. So I hope that you enjoy. I plan on filming this one, which is going to be mom gift ideas. And then another one for baby gift ideas. I am a mom and I do have a 14 month old son. He will be 15 months old come Christmas time. So I figured I'd share some really good gift ideas for you. It's kind of weird making a gift gu gift guide for yourself, like somebody like yourself, but I figure if anybody knows what mom's like, it's a mom, right? So I pulled stuff from my collection, my stuff that I've already used that I really enjoy to share with you guys. This video is not sponsored whatsoever. There is a couple of things that were sent to me in PR, but most of it is stuff that I just have used for years um, and I wanted to share with you guys. So. Let's get started! I have everything in this video from beauty stuff to fashion stuff to home decor-ish kind of stuff like non-beauty stuff so I'm actually going to start with the non-beauty stuff and then end with the beauty stuff so first I'm going to start with candles because I am a candle queen and I know lots of moms and just females in general they don't even have to be moms love candles and it's such an easy present to get because you don't have to know what size they wear what color makeup they like you know you don't have to know any of that stuff you just have to pick out candles that smell really good so easy easy go-to is Bath and Body Works, come on, everybody knows this. They definitely always have a candle sale every year where you can get their three wick candles for really, really discounted. At the time I'm filming this video, I have no idea when the candle sale is going to be, but if it's announced before this video goes up, I will link it in the description box down below. It's typically the first weekend of December, so fingers crossed that that's when it happens again. I love these three wick candles. I also suggest getting scents that are not necessarily Christmassy because if you're giving it to them for Christmas, then they're not necessarily going to want to burn a Christmas scented candle after Christmas. Strawberry pound cake is so good, you guys. It smells like whipped vanilla and strawberry. They have a bunch of different ones that might not look exactly like this, but this scent is definitely available. And then hot cocoa and cream is typically marketed as a Christmas candle, but they also have had it as a Halloween candle and an Easter candle, so you can really use it year round. It just smells like chocolate. It smells so good. Now, if you wanna get something a little bit less traditional than Bath and Body Works, I discovered this candle brand called Times that has really, really nice candles. This is their Fraser Fur, so it is definitely a Christmas scent, but they have scents that are not Christmas. I love, oh, this one smells so good though. Like if you like pine, oh, it smells like a Christmas tree. It smells so good. The jar is also super nice. See how it has like these little embossments of like pine on it. They did send this to me for PR to test out and Oh my God, it smells so good. I cannot wait to burn this like right next to the Christmas tree. Maybe not right next to the Christmas tree because I don't want to start a fire, but like just to have my house smell like Christmas. Oh, but they have a ton of scents, non-Christmas and Christmas. So this is a little bit less traditional, maybe a little bit less expected than something like Bath and Body Works. So this is something that actually is a gift for my mom. So if you are my mom watching this, maybe don't watch this part of the video, but something that I thought was so cool is a personalized puzzle. My mom loves doing puzzles. I love doing puzzles. It's a little bit harder for me to find time to do puzzles because I do have a one-year-old, you know, toddling around getting into everything, but my mom can do puzzles all day, every day. So this is by Shutterfly and this is like a custom puzzle. So there's pictures on there of me, my son, my nephews, my sister. So I put all the grandkids and the kids on here. And I think that this is so cool. They have like four or five different sizes. So you can get really, really big ones or really, really small ones, varying prices. Shutterfly is one of those companies that almost always has some sort of Black Friday deal. So Black Friday, Cyber Monday, they pretty much always have some sort of coupon code out there. So definitely search for that before you purchase through them. But this I thought was so cool. I just think that that's so unique, like a puzzle with pictures of your kids on it. How cool is that? Okay, something that's even more less traditional <laughs> and very unique is a portrait of your dog. So if you have any dog moms in your life, this might be a really good gift for them. 
I found a company called Crown and Paw. I actually just ordered my picture of my dogs through them. I haven't got it yet, so I don't have a physical portrait to show you, but <laughs> these are, I'll put a screenshot up so you can see what they look like. It's so funny because they will create a picture of your dog wearing like a uniform or an outfit. You get to pick the outfit you want and then you send them a picture of your dog and they create like your dog in like a human outfit. It's a little out there, it's a little strange, but it's so cool and so unique. Like who has, nobody has anything like that already, you know? So if you really want something that's super unique, parents sometimes, you gotta find those unique things. That's a really cool idea. So if you have a parent whose birthday is in December or late Thanksgiving time, like late November time. Uh, my mom's birthday is December 4th. My dad's birthday is December 10th. So it's always kind of cool to get them something that's kind of Christmassy related, but not necessarily Christmas related. I think advent calendars are so cool, you guys. I have always loved advent calendars, and nowadays you can find an advent calendar with pretty much anything inside of it. You can do candy, they have makeup ones, they have I mean, dog treat ones. There's so many different advent calendars. I also think this would be good to give to somebody as a Christmas gift, especially this particular one, because it doesn't necessarily have to be used as an advent calendar. So this one is by my favorite uh, jam brand, a little weird, right, jam? But I think food products are always kind of cool to give to parents because it's like a consumable product, so even if they have had it before, like they likely don't have it at that time. Anyways, this is my favorite jam or jelly, whatever you call it. Marmalade, I think some people call it, whatever. A, f a fruit spread. Um, it's bone, I never, I never know how to say it. Bone maman, I think is how you say it. This I found at World Market. World Market has a ton of really cool gift ideas. Like literally, you can walk in there or shop online all of this stuff you can buy online, by the way, in case you don't want to go in stores. And like, you can find a gift for pretty much anybody. Like, their stuff is just so cool. So here's what the advent calendar looks like. And I'm actually just going to open it up so you can see what the little jars... These little jars of jam are so cute, you guys. And there's 24 of them. And look at how cute they are. They're like single serving. You can probably get like, you know, two to four slices of toast out of each of these. And there are different flavors. I thought this was so cool. My mom, every time she comes to my house, I always have a bone mom on uh, jelly because they sell it at Tar uh, not Target. Well, they do have it at Target, grocery stores, but Costco has like a giant jar of it. And so we always have it. She always comments on how good it is. So I'm actually gonna give this to her for her birthday. Even if it wasn't her birthday, I think this would be such a cool Christmas gift because you don't need a special occasion to count down with jam. You can just open up a door every day, no matter what month it is, and enjoy some jam. Okay, let's talk a little bit about something that's super traditional, and that is Bath & Body Works body products. This is something that if you are totally stumped and you have no idea what to get somebody, parents, especially moms, especially love that pamper time. I think for one, give them the time to pamper themselves, but pampering products are something that they don't typically purchase for themselves. So something like an extra special body lotion or body scrub or shower gel is really going to be just it's a good, like you know for sure they're almost always gonna like it, you know what I mean? Vanilla Bean Noel is my favorite Christmas scent. It smells like vanilla. I actually use this scent year round. Highly recommend this one. Usually there's a body spray that comes with it too, so you can get like the whole shebang, and this is a really nice gift for mom. I also think that bath bombs are a fantastic gift for any woman, but moms especially, new moms who just need that quiet time to unwind and relax in the tub. Bath bombs are a really nice way to like make your bath extra special. Lush has my favorite bath bombs. I actually only have one left because I've used up all that I have. So here's the one that I have left. This is their butter ball. It smells like vanilla. <laughs> it smells so good. I have bubble bars and bath bombs. Both of them are awesome for your bath. Christmas ones are good. Snow Fairy is a fantastic scent. So I'll find a couple that I really like and link them down below for you so you can shop online or go in store and ask for them, but Butterball is a really good one. Okay, let's talk quickly about a couple of little fashion items. I don't consider myself like a fashionista at all, and I think most new moms at least probably don't consider themselves fashionistas either, but I think that these are really cool fashion items. So the first one is a tote or a bag by the brand The Sack. This is really, really cool. So they did send this to me to test out. And at first I was like, this bag is huge. I'm never gonna use a bag that big. Like, what am I gonna put in a bag that big? You guys, I have a one-year-old. 
So this is such an easy thing for me to grab and just throw a bunch of toys in. My wallet and keys, diapers. It's so big that it fits literally everything. I have used it when we're running to the park so I can throw some snacks, some puffs, some extra bottles, some sippy cups, water bottles for me, sunblock. I just think it's so like big and multi-purpose and because it has like the open top up here, it's just easy to throw stuff in. And because it's oversized, you can fit tons of stuff in that your stuff, baby stuff. They have a bunch of different colors. It smells like that genuine leather. I love that smell. Oh my God, I love that smell. So it's really nice quality. I don't feel like it's gonna fall apart or anything like that. I picked out this brown color, but they have like a mustard yellow color that's really pretty too. I never thought I would be an oversized, humongous tote purse person, but this definitely changed my mind. Okay, so confession. When I found out I was having a boy, I was kind of sad because I always had envisions of myself matching my daughter, like mommy and me matching outfits. And when you find out you're having a boy, it kind of like, you can't really match your boy, but you can, you guys. So I discovered George hats like six months ago. I love their stuff so much. They have so many cute things. They have trucker hats that are just so cute. They make them in adult sizes too, but specifically for this time of the year, I love their beanies, you guys. So these are their pom-pom beanies. I think this is called the plaid design. I will link it down below for you. So I have a size for me and a size for my son, Lincoln, so we can be matching. We can have mommy and me matching beanies. Even though he's a boy, I can still match him and I got so, so excited when I found out that that was a thing. I think George Hats is so cool. These are really, really nice. They are handmade in the USA, small business, so if that's something you wanna support, they're nice and stretchy, they're good quality. I like the black and white one because it goes with more outfits, but there is solid black ones. I think she has red ones too, so yeah, I will link George Hats down below if you wanna check it out. I stinking love these. Mommy and me matching hats, yes please, yes. Okay, I have one hair item to tell you guys about and then a few makeup items to tell you guys about. So I think this is a really, really cool idea. I'm somebody who kind of sticks to my hair tools and I don't necessarily always have the latest, coolest gadgets. I just stick to what works. And then specifically, like lately, I've just been wearing my hair in a messy bun. <laughs> But when I do wanna style my hair, I've been using this a lot lately. It's the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. So it's a hair dryer with a round brush at the end. I used to be terrified of round brushes because I was afraid they were gonna pull my hair out. But I actually really do like this. It leaves your hair nice and silky smooth and it gives you that little volume that you don't always get when you just blow dry your hair. So this is nice and it's not too, too expensive. It's kind of a dupe for the Dyson Air Wrap, but it is like one eighth of the price so definitely a really cool thing for mom if she doesn't have something like this already okay let's talk a little bit about skincare for mom so another thing again mom doesn't always splurge and treat herself to nice skincare and skincare is so important and you'd be amazed at how much a nice moisturizer could really just like make your day so much better fresh beauty anything in the rose line is really really good in fact they have a few rose gift sets or gift kits that I will link down below for you. Anything that has the rose scent in it, it's gonna smell like rose, it's gonna be super hydrating, and I think mom would love it. I'm a mom and I love it. Drunk Elephant is another one of my favorite skincare brands. They have a ton of gift sets this year, you guys. Anything from tiny gift sets that are only $25 to huge gift sets that are $400, they have like a whole range of things. I suggest anything that has this TLC serum in it, so anything with this pink cap in it, if you can find a kit with something like this in it, this is such a good product. And when you can get a kit that has this plus other things, you're kind of getting the other things for free and you're usually only paying for the serum. So it's just a good deal. This is a night serum. It's great. It kind of resurfaces your skin, helps get rid of those fine lines. And it's something that I absolutely love and I can't get enough of. It works so good. Okay, last but not least, I have a few tiny... I have three makeup products to tell you guys about. So Charlotte Tilbury is another one of those brands that is so expensive that mom likely will not treat herself to it unless it's given to her as a gift or something like that. So anything Charlotte Tilbury I recommend, but specifically anything that is titled Pillow Talk. So there's a ton of Pillow Talk colored things. There's a, a blush, an eyeshadow palette, uh, lip products, mascara. They have a lip kit right now and I don't have the kit, but I have some products from the kit. It's like her Pillow Talk Lip Kit um, that's specifically around for the holidays. That is a good one. It has this in it, which is her Lip Plumper. 
in the color Pillow Talk, and then it also has just the standard Pillow Talk lipstick. I think the lip liner is in there and maybe a lip gloss too, if I remember correctly. This lipstick is so pretty. I'm not wearing it today. I'm actually wearing another Charlotte Tilbury lipstick called The Queen, in case you're wondering what's on my lips right now, but this is just the most suitable pretty pink color for any mom out there would love it any woman really but you know this is a mom gift guide so and then the lip gloss the plumper is the same color it's just a different type of formula a little bit more sheer so that kit is really good because it's like worth the value of it is worth like double or triple what you actually pay for it i also recommend the pillow talk eyeshadow quad this is probably my most used eyeshadow quad. It is just so pretty. The pillow top colors are so nice, perfect for everyday wear, perfect for, it's nothing dramatic and it's nothing that's gonna be difficult to figure out how to use, but it's so luxurious and so pretty that I think mom would absolutely love it. You got super wearable colors in here, nothing that's intimidating. So I think that mom would love that. Another really luxe brand is Hourglass. Now this exact palette is not available this year. They have a smaller version of this, a four pan version instead of a six pan version. But these Hourglass palettes are so nice and so luxurious. I think any mom would love to have something like this in their makeup collection. You have a blush, a bronzer, a finishing powder, and a highlight all in one. So basically the palette this year looks like this. You don't have these other two colors in it. So it's cheaper too, which is nice. But this is just so luxurious. Hourglass products in general is just like that luxe. Like it's just so pretty, you know what I mean? And if you have a makeup loving mom, she will love anything Hourglass. All right guys, well those are the products that I recommend for mom gifting or just many women in your life really gifting. I hope that you enjoyed watching this and you got some really fun, unique ideas for gifts for mom. Stay tuned for my baby gift guide that I'm filming right after this, but you will probably see in a week or so. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed and I'll talk to you next time.